that going never to show happened. Up at the inauguration. Like they didn't show up at the Capitol and break windows and, and knock down doors and kill cops and chase. They didn't do that. And ch- they didn't break windows. They didn't knock kill down- cops. They of course did. No, they didn't. Who did? They died of natural causes that day. Hello and welcome back to my project here, which is undoing the massive propaganda gaslighting campaign that the Biden regime and his institutional support base have perpetrated against America. Today, I have a few clips from an interview Megyn Kelly just did with Bill Maher, where he states multiple straight up lies that he apparently believes are true. Strange for such a well-known, a long time political commentator to be so utterly uninformed. Or is he just playing dumb on purpose? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Joe Biden is the bad guy who sent his drug-addled son out there to collect money. That's what the laptop shows. And that's more important than what I was bringing up about not abiding by election results, not not respecting what always made this country great, the peaceful transference of power. I, see, I don't you, disagree you, with you on that. You're not going to get me to say it's, uh, it was well, a great I mean, thing but, the way but, Trump but behaved. I don't have to get you to agree or disagree. You're obviously someone who looks at an elephant and a mouse and cannot tell which one is bigger. I, d- I disagree. I think I know. You, that's projection by you because I look no, at I Joe mean, that's Biden. How I, that's how I see you. Well, what an asshole. Well, let's talk after, about... Uh, why, why are you telling me this? I mean, this is, such, this is just t- typical right-wing talking points. The evil Hunter Biden and the evil Joe Biden. And look, I do, I, do I, I like them? No, I, I don't particularly like them. I think they're very flawed. Listen, it's listen. It's not nearly on you're the just scale. Mi- you're misstating my it's argument. This, well, I'm talking about the difference between this and some something fundamental, which is our democracy. The fact that you have to respect who wins an election or else you don't have the kind of country we've always had before. We cannot declare that the election of November 2nd, 2004 was free and clear and transparent and real. I come from Florida where you and others participated in what I call the United States Coup d'etat. I rise to object to the fraudulent 25 Florida electoral votes. I rise to object to the certification of Ohio's electoral vote. I agree with tens of millions of Americans who are very worried that when they cast the ballot on an electronic voting machine, that there is no paper trail to record that vote. Don't let them fool you. We won the election. It was stolen. She was elected president of the United States and it was stolen from her. Stolen from her. Putin personally ordered the interference in the U.S. presidential election to hurt Hillary Clinton's campaign. Democrats and liberals have accused the vote of being rigged or stolen for George W. Bush both in 2000 and 2004 and have done so for years. Jonathan Chait wrote in New York Magazine in 2012, yes, Bush v. Gore did steal the election. Also in 2012, Salon app is the GOP stealing (coughs) Ohio. In 2014, Ezra Klein wrote that 68% of Americans think elections are rigged. And he said they're right. In 2006, Rolling Stone published a lengthy article asking was the 2004 election stolen? We actually won the last presidential election, folks. They stole the last presidential election. I I don't think that George W. Bush won the election uh, in 2000. Trump didn't actually win the election in 2016. Stacey Abrams' election is being stolen from her. If Stacey Abrams doesn't win in Georgia, they stole it. It's clear. Was the election in Georgia statewide a free and fair election? It was not a free and fair election. The fact that you have to respect who wins an election or else you don't have the kind of country we've always had before. What are you talking about? These people literally live in a fantasy alternate universe that is, like they say, completely separate from the reality that we are living. In mine, Donald Trump definitely gave up power, even though he didn't officially concede. You're never gonna get through to a guy like Bill Maher, because he's always gonna have some justifiable rationalization in his head to tell himself that it's not the same thing. He's always gonna have a carved out excuse for why it's different. Hillary Clinton, of course, is the original election denier. I'm sure you voted for her in 16. Well, she's not an election denier. She She absolutely was the OG election denier. She, first of all, oh, that was different. She came out before the sun had risen to concede the election to Trump. And then spent the next four years saying he was illegitimate. He was an illegitimate president. She, okay, well, first of all, saying, she didn't say he was an illegitimate. Yes, she did. You tell me exactly what she said. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. He knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows. You can run the best campaign. You can even become the nominee. 
and you can have the election stolen from you. She said those exact words repeatedly. Okay. Uh, I mean, she conceded the election. Whether uh, whether you're interpreting her uh, disappointment at, win at losing it uh, as the same thing as Trump not conceding it. And you can have the election stolen from you. I don't know that, if that's where you're getting it from. But again, it's a tremendous false equivalency. T you could ask Hillary Clinton right now who won that election. She will tell you. But we also have to look ahead because you know what? Our opponents certainly are. Right-wing extremists already have a plan to literally steal the next presidential election. Oh. Less different. Yeah. Hillary Clinton's conceding meant absolutely nothing because she went on to deny the election for the next four years. Not to mention Bill Maher and the entire media who insisted Russia had stolen it for Donald Trump. The president requested Russian assistance. He received Russian assistance. He benefited from Russian assistance and he rewarded Russian assistance. And his son met with Russians who were selling him dirt. And his campaign manager went and gave polling data to a Russian oligarch who was in tight with the Kremlin. Tell me why that's not collusion. Of course that's collusion. You can see it right there while his mind is trying to figure out why what he's saying makes sense. Because it doesn't and he knows it. But what he does know above all is that it is completely different when the person he supports does the exact same thing that he's so upset and threatened by. So when you're talking about not being able to see the difference between a mouse and an elephant, Bill Maher is truly projecting because he's showing right now exactly what makes these people so damn dangerous right like there was never an attack on the capitol oh Megan. i hear you i hear you but he's that not going to show happened. up at the inauguration like they didn't show up at the capitol and break windows and, and knock down doors and kill cops and chase they didn't do that and ch they didn't break windows they didn't knock kill down cops they of course did no they didn't bro literally everything you just said was wrong who did they died of natural causes that day yeah nobody died that day cops no not true who? Okay. Who? Oh, I don't remember the names. That's because it never happened. They didn't. There was Brian Sicknick, who died later after the fact, and the coroner's report did not say it was because of what he had inhaled that day. He said it had possibly accelerated the condition that killed him. Okay, well, attacked cops. I thought they were, yes. the, I thought they were the law enforcement people. He's doing it. He's doing the thing. He's carving himself out an exception with some random detail to make it different when his side does it. He has to do this or else just admit that he's everything that he claims to be against. All right, folks, that's about all of Bill Maher I can take for one sitting. But if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post regularly, so make sure to keep checking back for more.